Hey, how's it going, everyone? So I just want to comment quickly on this thread about Stefan Molyneux doing a takedown request, a DMCA takedown request of a channel called True Shibes or Shibes. I'm not sure, exactly sure, but I'm going to guess True Shibes, like T-R-U-S-H-I-B-E-S. -E um, it wasn't physically done by him, apparently, supposedly it was someone who worked for him, but uh, I just want to say that if what has been said about this is true, and I'm just reading a little bit from um, a TechDirt article, a thread on Reddit, um, I you know it would it would be I think a bad idea to do what he did, um, even though this channel was allegedly uh, posting personal information of guests that came on and stuff like that, pictures of kids and stuff like that. Um, and the reason why I think this is just a bad policy, in other words, using the state generally to shut down people um, is because it is going to end up looking hypocritical, obviously, um, when you use the IP law to shut down someone that you don't like. I think the better way to have gone about it would have been to have said, okay, if you're going to take personal private information and try to make a public show out of it to all my guests, and say, okay, well, everybody else, all right, so let's find out what this person is and, and do the same. Um, and of course, you know, from a libertarian standpoint, uh, there's nothing un, uh, uh, you could say unethical according to the the maxims about that. There's nothing wrong. There's no non-aggression principle violation to expose somebody, pure information. We're not talking about physical violence. We're not talking about threatening somebody or saying, ha ha, like here's a picture of your grandma. You're going to, you know, you're gonna kill or something like that. But when it comes to just oh, the information made public, if that's what his complaint was, well then the response was <laughs> with freedom of speech is more speech. You know, not taking down somebody else's videos, no matter how offensive it may be. Again, this is you know this is just me reading over general summaries. I'm not gonna claim to do either way. I'm gonna just assume a premise and just with this just say if this is how it happened. Anybody who's watching this or anybody who's, you know, in liberty should probably consider it from the opposite way. You know, don't go with advocate or try to use the state. Uh, use more freedom. Use more speech. If they're going to do tactics against you that are trying to, you know, maybe not directly, but indirectly threaten or intimidate or harass someone who you interview, well, okay. Well, if you're going to, you know, if that person's going to try to pull up pictures of someone's kids or try to do anything uh, that's like expository of that person, okay, well, we'll do something expository on you, assuming it doesn't violate something else. It doesn't violate another type of uh, harm uh, under voluntarist values with initiating physical force, breaking contracts, that kind of stuff like that. Uh, you know, and, and, and at a minimum, if there was an element that violated YouTube's agreement, one could easily argue, okay, well, what you're doing violated those terms. You can report that. You could YouTube can take action because both you agreed to that terms of service. If you put a, if you put forward something that breaches those ter those terms of service you have with YouTube, well then you're the person who's you know breaking that agreement. Um, and if that person did something where it's like here's the person's David House who wants to like you know go and you know kill him first like that, well obviously there's a problem. Uh, but I think that when it comes to these things, you you, you can't you can't use uh, you know the threat of force via government to remedy these types of harms you have to use more speech and that's always the key you know the the best way to combat the combat speech that you don't like is more speech more discourse more dialogue um, and exposure that's that's all there is to it you know the, the best way to expose lies is with the truth so i hope that you know what i'm reading isn't truly the case that it wasn't this bad as as people are saying it or suggesting it is supposedly you know well new admitted on a show but I just think that anybody out there who's who may face this issue in the future should consider a different route uh, that's more consistent with the principles of liberty um, and voluntarism, uh, the traditional uh, libertarian framework. So I hope that's informative, and I will talk to you all later.